Hi, this is Daniel Zona. I'm doing a blog. I think um, I was going to do it yesterday, but um, yesterday I was quite distracted by the mother. Well, first of all, apparently the trial had been cancelled. First of all, because the um, the CCTV footage of me vomiting had been uh, it just disappeared. So they had to <coughs> scrounge for a backup copy. Unfortunately, there was a backup copy, so the court has been adjourned. So I would have to have to go to sort of like trial, like in the in a month's time, 9th of July, apparently. And um, now the thing is, what I don't like about it, um, it's not the, um, the shop owner doesn't want to have it like a normal court situation. He wants to do it through a video conference where I appear as Frankenstein's monster, in a sense. Where I appear as the baddie, that I'm too dangerous to even send in normal court. And I do not like it. And I ask my sister not to go ahead with this because, um, as you know, I stand out of the crowd um, publicly. Um, the way I dress and everything, and and also as well as my sort of like gender issues and all of that. And um, this is going to only aggravate my problems I have with society with discrimination, uh, just for being different. And of course, the media would probably be be there as well. And if they see the setup of it. A, a, a video conference, um, they would <clears throat> naturally assume that I am like Frankenstein's monster. So I am feeling very uneasy about this and rather nervous. And, and um, it's, I thought, you know, things would be better, but apparently. As soon as he found out that I uh, had sort of like medical evidence to back me up, the fact that I um, can't hold my food in when I'm having uh, anxiety, stress, and trauma, um, he, he <clears throat> it's actually um, he's gone a step further to try and uh, say that um, um, gone a step further to say that he wants to have a the video conference and he's scared of me. For me this only shows that um, I've got two things. Number one, he, he knows that he's guilty and he uh, and he actually made this bed and he refuses to lie in it and to pass all the uh, all the problems down onto me. Um, this, this number two, um, it's part of my. I still, I still classify it as a <clears throat> personal conspiracy um, for G4S and all them to get hold of me um, because I'm an extraterrestrial hybrid, and um, and once I'm within in, in sort of like a, a custody or under. Um, investigation it kind of like gives them the legal right to examine me and study me and things like that. They keep me in close um, observation. Um, so there we have it. Um, so I'm just quite nervous about it. Um, the reason why I didn't do the vlog yesterday is because I was I received on short notice that um, I had been accepted into one of my artworks had been accepted. It's a cosmic orgasm room has been accepted. Um, has been accepted into the exhibit the erotic, erotic arts festival exhibit in Edinburgh, and <clears throat> I started to like. I get a bit of panicky, um, but the reason being is I must, I must probably have missed the first email um, notifying me that my work had been accepted, 
um, with all this trauma going on. Um, I sometimes I, I sometimes get a lot of emails uh, because I could, you know, my inbox basically gets flooded with um, emails such as things that I've subscribed to, spam, um, and so on and so on. And um, I kind of miss um, emails sometimes. And um, so, um, and then I found this early this yesterday morning. I saw this email. I was like, oh my god, saying that um, they had a bit of floods and uh, they had to go to an exhibit space and um, it, it gave a new uh, postal address. Now, I was going to post the piece, um, but. Um, I'm actually going on Monday in person um, to drop off the piece um, in Edinburgh. It's um, it's called the Cosmic Orgasm. I can't show it on the YouTube um, because it's already wrapped up in bubble wrap. Because I was going to post it, and um, I got a bit of help from friends and things financially, so I could actually have a train ticket. And yes, I have to owe them the money back. Um, next fortnight, um, uh, just so I could actually go to Edinburgh and deliver this um, um, painting um, um, in person. Um, yes, Cosmic Orgasm is the painting that was controversial, uh, where I got um, bullied and intimidated by the police in the um, Bridges uh, shopping mall here in Sunderland. So, um, but it's actually it's actually one of my best pieces. Um, where the anatomy is, you know, perfect. Um, and um, because as you, as you know that I had issues going into uh, getting into martial artists because apparently some people have noticed minor errors with my anatomy with the uh, drawing. And they actually helped me um, with this particular method called um, redlining, where you draw first, but um, before you go ahead and put in the color and details and everything, you redline your drawing and then you correct it. So um, you get the anatomy um, better. And I actually appreciate them for this because it's something that I've learned. And it's something that would help me improve um, with my work. I, I'm still busy with this big uh, digital drawing that I'm on. And um, with all the things happening in uh, real life, it's kind of like uh, delayed me um, in um, um, reapplying for acceptance at Lush Artists. I still have to do, I still need to do two or three more. Um, Digital paintings to reapply, but I do not wish to rush it because I'll screw up and then I'll have to probably reapply again, and um, it'll probably just be this ongoing cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, thing is, I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to take my time in it. I want it to be perfect, and. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Um, there was something I was going to mention as well. Um, yeah, I still got to do that anti extraterrestrial um, radio blog thing. Um, my friend on to do own starseeds.net, um, Aishatar. Um, I still don't know how to use it, and um, I don't know when to start and what to do. Um, because it kind of looks a bit gobbledygook to me. Uh, this website uh, called uh, Radio Blog or something like that. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. Like, is it going to be like Skype? You have to have a discussion um, about the topic and things like that. I do not know and what to do when more or less. Um, I just wanted to flow like naturally, like a you know, like a blog kind of thing. Um, so yes, um, 
Oh yeah, a game with uh, anti extraterrestrial heat stuff. Um, it has gone on the increase though. Um, more than positive sense uh, where people are wanting to welcome the extraterrestrials. Um, I've just been browsing around on YouTube and looking through reading through comments. People still going on about calling it extraterrestrial demons and shit. Um, there's some 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 really bizarre um, ideas about UFOs as well. Um, particularly the organic ones. Um, some people say that uh, they are creatures. Yes, they are creatures, but um, they transport extraterrestrial beings inside them. It's like have you seen the, the TV series Lex? It's like that. Um, um, where the spaceship is organic, it's conscious, and, um, and all you do is just say, you don't really need to pilot it. Um, however, okay, normal, normal space travel, you don't really need to pilot it. Um, because, um, it's, um, you just like to say, okay, I'm gonna go over here. <clears throat> but um, if you wish to go travel, use to travel at extremely long distance, where you have to make like a jump, and it gets pretty. But you're actually traveling so fast, and you're going through the um, hunting spectrum of space. It's um, it's very difficult, but the, 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 this is very controversial and taboo because it involves with sensuality. Um, you know, waking your senses and um, you actually feel your own taboo, and it, it involves getting quite um, intimate. Um, and everything kind of like works on the concept of, um, you know, natural, um, you know, how things like, you know, <coughs> the, with the structure of the internet, with the, the stars and the Higgs boson, Higgs field, it's like geometry and things like that. It's like, in sort of like a, um, more of on the broader consciousness level. So, it's quite a to do and um, that's when you're using the, um, the organic plants. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got to, have to say at the moment. Um, um, I'm not that specific. I think I would finish off that. And, um, I just really hope this court case really gets squashed because it's bogus, to be honest. Um, it's nothing but an excuse to get more fans or an excuse to um, have the legal right to um, have me under observation and things like that. So much love.